Hey guys, welcome back to Lumen Detailing, the YouTube channel. Today, we'll be cleaning, correcting, and protecting this 1992 Toyota Soarer. It's a Lexus SC300 here in the States, and the difference with the JDM one is, one, it's right-hand drive, and two, it has a 1JZ GTE motor in it. If you remember this car, I did the engine bay detail on it, and I remember asking the customer if it was uh, already ceramic coated and paint protected. At the time, it looked pretty decent, um, but when he brought it back here, um, he said it was already paint corrected and ceramic coated, so it was just gonna come in for a wash. But after spraying the water on it, it was very clear that this is not ceramic coated. So that got me thinking. Is this even paint corrected? And you'll see here after I decon the car that uh, whoever paint cor corrected it probably used toothpaste as his compound and shoe polish as his uh, ceramic coating. So normally when a car has a coating on it, a protective coating, whether it's ceramic or a wax or just a spray sealant, whatever it is, the water should have some sort of water beating effect and hydrophobicity, but clearly here it doesn't have it. Um, the water just stays flat, it's very slow to sheet off, so whatever it was used to protect the car, I think it was uh, shoe polish, like black shoe polish or something, because it just washed away. Here I'm spraying the car with Iron X snow foam just to help get the car decontaminated. I had to work quickly because the sun was beaming pretty hard and so I didn't get in the video the part where I clay mitted, used the clay mitt on the car to help decon it even further but yeah I did that after and then got the car cleaned up, cleaned before I went to the correcting stage. After getting the car cleaned up, I am now going to correct it, but before I do I have to inspect the paint and try to figure out what a good pad and combo or pad and polish combo, pad and compound combo, but yeah. So after inspection, this car looks like it's not paint corrected because there are a lot of defects on there. And there's just no way that this car was paint corrected recently. But anyway, I'll be using Rupes Yellow Compound with a R Rupes Yellow Pad, which is my go-to most of the time because it works 
phenomenal with almost every paint type. So uh, as you can see after a couple passes with that combo, the results are amazing and now it actually looks like the car got paint corrected and yeah there's a little bit of swirling left but I didn't want to cut too much into it, I didn't want to do a two stage or three stage even and so you know the results are, are obvious and so I thought this was the perfect amount of correction for what the customer was looking for within his budget. Obviously, as a detailer that's running a business, you do have to keep in mind that not every single car will be 100% perfect or even 95% perfect because people have certain budgets and you only have a certain amount of time to work on a car before the next car comes in. So keep that in mind when you're chasing those really fine details um, and figuring out how much to charge your customer and by the way for the protecting stage I use CarPro SIC topped off with CarPro Bliss. <laughs> 